Fellow viewers, this intro and the following video is rated R for intensive awesome video game violence in adult language such as the words fuck, cock, shitbagger, dick, thunder, cunt, asshole, SOB, twat lips, and fuck nut. Viewer discretion is advised. I do not advise to use diarrhea of the mouth at home and don't do drugs, kids, just hug pugs. Thank you. And if you want to see awesome pictures of everything gaming related, follow me on Instagram. And if you want to see me tweet about awesome shit, follow me on Twitter. Thanks, guys. And also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Peace. Hello guys, this is episode 5 of Let's Play Dark Souls with Craig. I'm happy you guys are back to watch another amazing adventure in Lordran. And let's get right to it. Guys, today we are going to be fighting um, Havel. And we're going to get his fucking ring because we want to wear that elite knight armor. Because just, just, just dodging in heavy ass armor is just fucking badass. And I find it so awesome and I want to do that. So... I mean, just think about it. Just think of a knight wearing bulky-ass fucking armor, right? And then he could roll and dodge like he's naked. Like, he has no weight on him whatsoever. Like, I think that's fucking awesome. So, we are going to kill Havel. And after we kill Havel, we are going to get the Crest Shield. And we will be set. Because the Crest Shield, we, uh, basically, guys, the thing I love about the Crest Shield is probably my, one of my favorite shields in the game. Honestly, I think it is my favorite shield in the game. The Crest Shield basically recovers stamina way more rapidly than it, than it does with any other normal shield or just normal in general. Just normal stamina re regeneration in general. So, if you guys want a shield that regenerates stamina, like, twice as fast, get the Crest Shield. It is amazing. And I can't wait to get it. And I can't wait to show you guys what the Crush Shield does and its beauty of it. So right now we're just killing these little these little uh, ghoul motherfuckers right here. We're killing out uh, the feral ghouls from Fallout 3 here with a shield. And here's another one trying to think he's a badass when I took him out. Okay, now we're going up the stairs. We're going to fight Havel. Um, you guys saw Havel before. I explained to you the Dragon Tooth and his weapons and how bad his armor looks and all that shit. Well, we're just going to, even though it's not a lot... Uh, health does matter when fighting this fucker, so we're gonna, t you know, we just drank, uh, part of our Sunny D, and we're gonna fuck him up. So, let's do it. Alright. So, we're gonna go down the stairs, and we're gonna kill Havel. So, that's Havel right there. If you guys have never seen him in the last video, that is Havel. Giant ass knight. And, uh, oh boy. Um, to kill this dude rapidly, if you wanna, if you really wanna kill him fast... My my recommendation is just just to backstab him, honestly. Um, one hit, we will be fucked, like, if we don't guard. I'm just letting you know. But, yeah, the backstab, just like that. If we keep doing that, then we'll be able to kill him. We were doing really good the first time we fought him. But, we got fucked up in the end, so... And I don't wanna, I don't wanna take the risk and backstab him yet, because I, you never know when he's gonna swing that giant fucking dragon tooth of his... That was a mess up on my part. Oh, well, maybe we could... Yep, there we go. Backstab. Boom! Die, Havel. I want your fucking ring already. Oh, and guys, I'm, I'm pretty sure I said this before, but... Uh, you get his armor later in the game, and it's really awesome. Yeah, I believe you get his armor in Anorlando, which is guarded by a Black Knight, and it's in chests. So, that's pretty fucking awesome. So, we're just, we're just, you know, basically gonna try and backstab him. Oh, no. Oof. Good thing I had my shield up. There we go. Two-hand backstab. Guys, by the way, backstabbing and just using your weapon with two hands is way better. More effective, does way more damage. Um... And it's just, it's just really good. I don't know how else to put it. But we killed Havel. Yes. We killed Havel the Rock. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Wait. Spoke too soon. This guy doesn't go out without a fight. Now we fucked him up. Goodbye. Yes. So we got his ring. Havel's ring. So now, guys, I love this ring. This is my favorite ring in the game. Let me show you what this bad boy does. 
boost maximum equipment load. So we could put on elite knight armor. Uh, uh, since this is better, fuck it. I mean, that's better, my bad. Uh, elite knight gauntlets, which we already have on. And elite knight leggings, right? We can, look, we can dodge like a normal person now. See? There is no, there is no, like, dodging with, with, like, you guys know what I mean. But isn't that awesome? I know. Now we're gonna go get the crush shield. Use the master key. I know exactly where the crush shield is from here, I believe. We are in the dark root basin, which is basically where a bunch of ice monsters are. And, uh, I believe the crush shield is somewhere towards the left. If I remember the video. Like somewhere towards the left. But we don't want to get killed by ice monsters. And I don't want to get killed by ice monsters. And I believe the crush shield is somewhere over here. And I hope we don't have to fight a black knight. But then again I think we're going to have to. I think we do have to fight a black knight. What does this say? Try jumping. Yeah. Good luck with that buddy. Not doing that. Uh, There it is. Crush shield's right there. Um, I, yeah, there's a black knight right there. So let's just jump down. Got the grass crush shield, and I doubt we're gonna. I doubt we're gonna fuck this guy up. Oh crap! And we died by him. Well, at least we died. Uh, it's worth that shield's so worth getting. So we got the grass crush shield, which is an amazing shield. Uh, we only had seven thousand eight hundred and eight souls. Honestly, to me, it's not worth get. It's not worth getting it back. It's, it's whatever. I could get more souls than that, but that's awesome. Plus, we have a shitload of uh, souls that we we didn't use. So that's the good part. So that's whatever. That's that doesn't bother me. So let me just put on the grass crush shield. And as you can see, uh, you, my character is gl glowing right now. Wave, wave, wave to the audience. Hey, hey, I said fucking wave. Wave. There we go. There we go. Hello. Okay, so my character basically, uh, if you check out my stamina, look how fast that fucking, look how fast. Oh, crap. That knight wanted it. Let me kill him. And no, he doesn't want the D. He wants the power of guns and sympathy. All right. So, as you can see, our, our fucking stamina just, like, regenerates way faster than it would. That's what I love about the grass, the grass crush shield. And guys, honestly, I think if we get some more souls, we should get the Drake Sword. So, you know what? Fuck it. Let's get the Drake Sword. Let's farm a little bit. Let's keep on farming. And, um, let's, let's farm till we have enough to buy some bone arrows. And, you know... We could get some, uh, some fucking bows. So we could shoot down the, the, that dragon's tail. It may take a while, but oh well. Um, I don't know how much arrows are, but I'm, I'm gonna assume that maybe 3,000 souls is enough. But then again, honestly, I don't think I'm gonna get to 3,000 souls. And I'm definitely not gonna run back to that Black Knight and get my souls again. Because I guarantee you I'm gonna die again. And I don't wanna die. So we're not gonna go back and, uh get those those souls i mean the drake sword is an amazing weapon i don't even think we'll be able to honestly wield it yet have to see the stats on it but it's a great beginning sword it really is better than uh my battle axe plus five that i'm wielding right now actually but honestly our character is really good now for a beginner really good was this light crossbow yeah, he's really good for a beginning character right now. So honestly, guys, I think that we should just go to the depths. Um, we might as well just go to the depths. But there's actually a thing I wanna, I wanna do. Uh, I'm trying to think. Oh yeah. Um, before we go to Blight Town. Before we go to Blight Town, I want to go back to the Asylum so we could get the Rusted Iron Ring, I believe it's called. And that basically makes us walk in mud without getting poisoned. And that would be very helpful and that would make my life way more easier. So we're going to have to go back to the Undead Asylum. But we're not going to face no Stray Demon, but it's going to be way more tougher because there's going to be Torch Guys and there's going to be a two Black Knights. That's the only problem. Uh, so that's, that's the one thing I'm scared about, honestly. But, um, oh, wait a minute here. Uh, we have to get the basement key. 
I didn't get the basement key. I totally forgot about the basement key. Uh, the basement key, guys, you're going to see, um, we're, we're, we're actually running to it. You're going to see a door that is locked, which is next to Solaire. And we're going to need the basement key to, well, proceed to the basement. Self-explanatory. Doesn't take, a like, a genius to know that. But, um, yeah, we're going to need that basement key so we can proceed to go to the, yeah. Yep, I forgot the key. Fuck. Alright, so, let me just, hopefully, this dragon's gonna breathe fucking fire, and he took out a good chunk of my fucking health. Oh my god, it takes forever to get up. Oh my god, no! Ooh, ooh, I really thought that fire was gonna kill me. Alright, good. You know, I just noticed, I, I took the, I, I, I decided to go to, like, the long way. But guys, let me let me just explain something to you real quick. When we get the bows, when we get the straight sword, we gotta shoot his tail right there. It's really easy, and you get his you get you get the Drake sword. Um, we don't have any bone arrows at all, so we can't do it. Oh well. But when we do, whenever we get the time, we're gonna get the Drake sword. So that's what we're gonna do. Kick that guy off, and we're gonna leave the rats over here because we don't want to die. Basically, we're backtracking because we forgot to get the key. So, all right. Now we could. Now that we killed those two rats, we we don't even need to worry about that rat right there. You could just run past him, press A really quickly, and look at the little sucker. He thinks he's gonna get you. No, you're not. No, you're not. We're gonna walk up the ladder, bitch. All right. So, let's keep on going. Kill this little dude right here. And yeah, see see that little glowing white thing over there? That's the that's the basement key. I forgot I totally forgot to get it. That was my fault. Wow, his sword was like an inch from fucking touching my flush. Holy shit. Alright. Alright. There's three more guys up here. Once we deal with these guys, we can actually proceed with the level and actually get the basement key. The basement key's right there over that gate. Right there. Not sure if you saw it, but it's right there. So, oh crap. I think you're, I think you're slick, huh? Slick shady over there, huh? Well, I killed you. Alright. Oh crap. Did not see him right there. Okay. I pressed the RB button again, so I hit twice by accident. Alright. So now we're gonna go past that gate, and we're gonna get that basement key, and I really fucking hate, I really fucking hate, you know, these torch guys, because they're so annoying. Especially, well, they, they don't have torches in their hands right now, but when they do, oh my god, they just spaz out, and the torch, the torches, the enemies aren't really what cause the damage, it's the torch, since it's fire. So, that's really, that's really what, like, bums us out over there being honest with you and there's a guy up the ladder fuck gonna have to kill him let me just kill these guys real quick if i can yeah okay goodbye before you could even fucking actually stuck over the ladder i killed you so let's go all the way up and then we're gonna have to go get um uh, we're gonna have to go get uh that basement key so we're gonna have to fight this knight right here because we want to take him out I don't believe I took him out before. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's just me. But um, we're gonna. Okay, let's see. Up. Oh, there's two knights right there. You gotta be careful for that boulder knight. I mean, if you have a really good weapon, he's not even that hard. Really easy. The best thing I love about these knights. I'll show you a certain move. I'll wait until he does that certain move. Hold on. That move right there takes up so much time. So you you just have a perfect advantage of just killing the fucker. So, let's just kill that guy. Alright. And we gotta... I don't know if we should bother going... No, we're not gonna... Well, I don't know. Going to the bonfire would be safe. But honestly, we don't need to. Because it's whatever. So, I'm just gonna... Kill this dude right here. Hopefully, there's no knife left, right? No. Okay, so we got the basement key. We're gonna open the gate so we can just go, like, right through. And then we're gonna get a whole bird up the stairs over here. Because... That's what the hidden item is. So we're gonna get that halberd. 
I love how I remember literally everything about this game. Like, it's fucking insane. Like, you could... Like, you could be like, oh, what's that item over there? What's that item over there? What's that item over there? And I'll just rememorize all of it. Like, it's crazy. Like, I know this game like the back of my hand. When it comes to locations and finding things, I just really do. And there's a black knight up there, but we're not going to bother killing him. Wow, we have 3,000 souls. I just noticed that. And we have to kill this rat because he's been waiting for us. Ever since we killed his two brothers up ahead, which I think they're bodies. They're their bodies. Let me see. I don't think they're... Nope, they're still there. Oh, no. No, they're not still there. I think, I think they fell off the ledge. I'm not really sure. Maybe they did, maybe they didn't. I don't know. But we got the basement key. And the bonfire is down there, so we have nothing to worry about. We could just run it out. Hopefully that dragon's fire. Yeah, I just changed myself. The fire did get us. All right. Well, let's keep moving. No time to heal. So, let's keep on moving. All right. Let's uh, drink the Estus flask. And let's open the basement key, and look at that. Now we can actually go to the depths and yada, yada, yada. You know, proceed from there. Where the next boss we're going to fight is Capra. Capra is basically this goat-headed uh, being kind of monster creature thing. It wields two gigantic swords that pack a fucking punch. And right, oh, up here we're going to go up the stairs. We're going to make a shortcut in case we die. We can just go down here. We're going to open the door right here, but we have to kill... Three enemy. Oh no, we already dealt with them. Never mind. Okay, but well, we basically made a uh, shortcut right there, and I fell by accident. All right. So Capra, like I was saying before, wields two big giant swords, and he's a bitch. Uh, but there is a certain easy way how to kill him. My cousin is against this this uh, this uh, technique to how to kill him because he finds it too easy. I honestly don't care. As long as the fucker dies, that's all that matters, right? Okay, now a bunch of thieves are gonna come out at us through these doors, just like that. We're gonna run to the fire because when they jump to the fire, sometimes these guys these guys have a high advantage of jumping into into the fire and just killing themselves because they're just dumbass AIs. So, I mean, like that. trying to see if like, that dude got hit by fire and he died yeah like stuff like that like also also when you're playing dark souls acknowledge the things around you and try your best if you can use hazardous um powers by observing the environment so like try try to use environmental kind of things for example when we killed the knight at firing shrine i thought okay you know, you know let me just like pull him off the ledge and he died like, do environmental stuff. You don't always have to kill enemies just head on with swords and just do it the typical way. Like, try to do it the best way possible. Alright. Not sure if I'm going to be able to kill Cap on my first try. If I did, that would be a miracle. I mean, I know how to beat him. So, right away, I'm just going to dodge right... I'm just going to run right to the left side. Oh, wow. I'm actually happy that worked and I didn't take no hits. I gotta kill his dogs though. Wait for this fucker to fall. So we killed both his dogs, so that's good. Gonna drop down attack him. Okay, let's run right back upstairs. So guys, basically to kill Capra, just basically always go on top of this well, wait for him to come upstairs. And then he will fall right down there because he's too fucking big and he doesn't realize it because he's a fucking idiot. And when he falls down, you could basically just drop down attack him. Or if he attempts to hit you from there, which I don't know why he would, but he's a dumbass or he would. Uh, you could just do that and just repeat the process. Just keep on doing what I'm doing. My cousin likes to face him head on. I think that's a dumb idea because, like I said, it's just a waste of time. And if the, if the, the game developers made an easy way how to defeat a really complicated boss... Why not? Why not take advantage of it? That's that's how I see it. And he just failed on. Might as well just kill him. Okay. Well, look at that. It, our miracle came true. We killed Cap on our first try. Congratulations to us. And we got a homeward bone and we got some uh, humanity. That's awesome. Alright, so we got four. Oh, nice. Awesome. So we got. Ooh. 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 
10,000 souls. God damn. Okay, 10,000. Let's buy some bone arrows and see if we can get the Drake Sword now. Perfect timing. All right, let's do it. So let's go back to our bonfire, guys. Let's buy. Let's go to that greedy asshole merchant of ours in the undead berg. See how many arrows we can get. If we can get a shitload of arrows, awesome. And we're gonna try and shoot off that uh, that dragon's tail so we can get a great, great beginning weapon. If I don't say so myself, I think it's a great, great beginning weapon for this game. And I think uh, a lot of you guys. Uh, who sh who are taking my tips should definitely acknowledge uh, acknowledge this and uh, definitely try to go for the Drake Sword if you can as possible. Um, I don't want to go to the bonfire because the en then enemies are just gonna spawn. Plus we are plus we just have to take out those two enemies which are not hard at all. And we could just like go to the merchant, so it's no biggie. So let's just kill this guy. One hit. All right. And we took care of him. Alright, and we're just gonna barrel roll all the way down here. And we're gonna talk to that merchant guy. And also, let's just defeat this guy right here, because, I don't know. I just, I just hate going through an area knowing that there are enemies there. And just proceeding with it. Okay, well, let's talk to the guy. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, let's talk. Oops, my bad. Purchase item. Um, large arrows obviously do more. 60. So, um, I don't think, I think at most we need is 80. I don't think we need that much. So, fuck it, let's do 95. Alright. Hey, what? What, well, we got, we got, uh. We got 95 arrows, so when we go back to our bonfire, we're just gonna use up the souls and level up, because it's been a while, like those souls, those like nameless souls and shit, like those extra souls that you get, and we're just gonna basically level level up by that, so we're gonna use them since we haven't used them in a while. So instead of the gold pine resin, which we're not gonna be, uh, we're not gonna be using right now, we're just gonna take, um, I don't know, take, yeah, take this. Just use it. Large soul of a nameless soldier. Let's do it again. And let's put this. Oopsie. No. Wrong item. Alright. Large soul of a lost and dead. Again. Maybe, hopefully, we can get to 10,000. I doubt it. So then maybe we can. Uh, no, I do not want to rest at the. I'm already at a bonfire, so let's do those last two soul. I mean, last six souls. Uh, here we go. Two hundred. Two hundred. Yeah, we're gonna get to ten thousand. Definitely. There we go. Okay, let's try and level up now. Get on endurance to twenty. And our vitality, alright. I think that's all we can really do. Alright, well, our endurance is 20, which is really good in my opinion. And our vitality is... What? 18? No, like 19 or something, I forgot. But that's good, we leveled up. So... And also, guys, at the beginning of the game, try to maintain your souls. Don't try to spend them and waste them on shit. Try to spend them wisely. Especially at early levels, since getting souls, since like to level up, it doesn't take that much, that much of a lot of souls to get. So spend them wisely. If you're doing a new game plus, you might as well not even level up anymore because it takes like thirty thousand, um, thirty thousand per like to level up. It takes thirty thousand per soul to level up, which is ridiculous. So. Yeah, just keep that in mind. Always spend your souls wisely. Don't waste them on shit that you doubt you're gonna ever use. And just, just, just keep that in mind, and you'll be fine. So always do that. We have two minutes left in this video, but I'm just gonna get to the. Uh, e even if we surpass two minutes, doesn't matter because I want to get that Drake Sword, and I'm gonna stop this video once we, once we obtain the Drake Sword, or hopefully obtain the Drake Sword. I don't know what can happen, but. Hopefully we got it. 
Alright. So. Backstab. Goodbye. Alright. Too bad I didn't get to backstab that guy. Oh well. Alright, so we're gonna go... We are gonna go below the bridge, actually. You know, like where where uh, the, dr the dragon is. And you know, I'm a dumbass because once again I took the long route when I could have just went up the ladder. S wow, I just wasted like two minutes of my life. Oh well. I mean, I mean, on the good side, we got souls. Sometimes I forget the shortcuts in this game, and it takes me a while to actually like recognize. Oh shit, there's a shortcut right here. I kind of used that. Why didn't I? You know, but it's all good. I mean, at least we got to got to uh, get here. Okay, so the dragon's right there. Obviously, I'm going to get blown by fire. No brainer about that. If I don't, which so far I'm not, that's a miracle. Wow, I actually didn't. Awesome. All right, let me use my Estus Flask. Okay, so we're going to take out that enemy over there. That little knight that always hides in there for some reason. Probably like baps himself. I don't fucking know. So we're going to take him out. Backstab, goodbye. Change and we are going to put the short bow on. Aw, oh, you fucking with me? What the fuck do I need? 12 dexterity? I don't know if I have an Fuck. Yes, timer, I know. Fuck, 12 dexterity. God damn it. Okay, um. Hopefully we have enough souls to level it up by one more. I mean, if we don't, that's fucking ridiculous. But let's check. Let's see. I doubt we'll be able to level up by one more. That would be a miracle if we ca if we can. Or we could just farm a little more and get our dexterity up to 12, honestly. Let's see. Oh, yeah, we can. Awesome. All right. 12. Yeah. Okay, now we can wield it. Awesome. Thank God. See, that's a perfect example of, you know, like, don't, you might as well not even level up and you gain plus, because like I said, it's like 30,000 per soul. It's ridiculous. You just saw right there, it only took 3,000 souls to level up once. So, it's so worth it. Compared to 3,000 souls? Compared to, like, to level up per 3,000? It's ridiculous. Alright. Exactly what I'm going to do to DLC. In this game, I mean this playthrough, and you guys get to get to see it too, and it's awesome because I never played it before, and I never, and I don't know what to expect, so it's kind of like a new game for me. So that's gonna be awesome. Okay, so we got the new arrows. Um, so basically, what you want to do is, oh my bad, is you want to aim at the tail, you want to aim it good, and just shoot. Oh, the fucking invisible wall! What the hell? You saw that? All right. Just like that. And he gets mad because we're shooting at his tail. This takes a while too, by the way. I gotta time it right. I don't really know his health right now. I hope I hope we get to kill his tail. I'm not sure. Fucking invisible wall. Fuck. God damn, I'm missing. Uh, I don't know. It takes a couple of arrows, honestly. We can do it, though. Right after we kill this, this, this fucking tail, that's when we're going to end the video. So. My bad missed. I missed again. I missed again. Fuck. Uh. Crap. Hold on. Let me just straighten my... Damn, I am doing bad right now. Uh, oh, wh are you serious? Wow. Okay, let me follow his tail. There we go. I actually didn't expect that arrow to hit his tail. See, guys, this is why you need a shitload of arrows. And this is how to get the Drake sword, by the way. If, if you're wondering why I'm doing this, I'm pretty sure I made it clear before, though. And I missed again. There we go. His tail again. Wait for the little faggot to get right back up there. Come on, Red Dragon. We don't have all day. Put that nice little tail again. 
Oh, I was close. Oh, too fast. Hold on. Wow. There we go. This is going to take a while. Hopefully not a long time. Uh, oopsie. There we go. Let's do it again. And basically just keep on speeding up the process. Uh, guys, if you don't want to watch this, uh, just, just if I get the tail, just fast forward to me obtaining the drake sword and you will see me wield it if i'm able to wield it and all that shit because i do know it gets boring just watching me shoot a fucking dragon's ta dragon's tail and sometimes miss so here i'm shooting the fucking tail again and again and again come on oops missed Jesus Christ, I wish I could see his fucking health. Let's charge up that arrow again. Uh, oh, fucking invisible wall. I hate that. I really hope I'm close to fucking up his tail. Wait, I think I actually saw his health for a minute. If I could see it. Oh my god, there it is. There he is. He's right there. Yeah, I can't really see his health, but. I think we're getting pretty close to shooting, to killing his tail. I don't know. I think we are. Fucking invisible wall. What? Let me just straighten myself out. Yep, got the Drake sword. Awesome. We got it. Okay, guys, told you it was worth it. Okay, so we got the Drake sword. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to wield it. Oh, I can wield it. Awesome. Great. That is just fucking awesome okay guys i'm so happy okay so we got an awesome weapon got an awesome weapon let's see its stats physical um it does if you look at if you if you look it says right weapon one that means 200 it does 200 damage so that is awesome compared to my battle axe where is it My battle axe plus 5 does 177, so yeah, the drake sword is a way better sword. So guys, we obtained the drake sword, and uh, I'm very happy for that. Let's return to the bonfire and say our goodbyes, and that'll be it. And then we'll go on to, I believe, part 6 of this video. So we're not, without further ado, let's just jump down. Alright. Go back to the bonfire, sit down, cook some marshmallows for the joy of obtaining the drake sword, which is right here. Alright guys, so take care, thank you for watching, subscribe, comment, like, and we will see you, oops, I, fuck, oh well, uh, let me put the wave, where is it, where is it, area, okay guys, and I'll see you next time, bye.